Hmm. I don't think this did too well. One of these. Oh, oh that is brilliant. Put it in the bloody fire. <laughs> yes. Now that's going to go now. That thing's not going to go. Oh. Now. Yeah, look. Now we're talking tucky doshies. I think I've kind of realised that uh, doing this, I really do need firelighters. Yeah. I really do. That's the candle, on it. That crackling noise.
So it's a light, it's a light way over on the left, but it's not a light in the bottom. Yeah, I think it's the way. When's that bit going to spread over? Uh, it's the way. I think we've got it. I think we've cracked it. If I was going, really, all I've got to do, I'll, I'll keep it going. I need to get some more kindling sorted out. Um, I'm getting a bit short of kindling. It's going now, isn't it? Really, it's going now. If we could just stretch over to that bit, it's almost getting over to that bit of um, kitchen roll. So I need more kindling. That I have that kindling, the one I just put on, it's I need to be split up a bit more. I've got a big box of it through in the kitchen, so I need to take it back outside. I actually don't have an axe as yet. Um. So the left side of it is, is a light. See what happens when you shut it? it? The flames are coming round for that bit of kitchen roll. Oh yes they are. See them creeping round there? And the middle bit's caught as well now. Um, I think it's a wee now, yeah, definitely. That's a wee look. So it's a wee, it's going. It's going. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now we've got a fire. I don't know how people set a fire just with uh, fire lighters, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's the way you stack it or something, with the AR and everything, just a specific way to do it. Yeah, I maybe need to learn how to do that more, rather than the chaotic way I do it. Yes, it's going. I don't know if these videos about <laughs> the fire wood burner videos are really. It's another obsession, I suppose. I suppose it it, it comes to that thing about fire and our humans. You know, humans uh, have always been sort of fascinated by fire, haven't they? Um, Uh, I think that's what it is, really. Um, so I want to do a channel update in a minute, but I think we'll just keep this as a wood-burning video.
Um, at the moment, oh god, we're well, into ten minutes. So really, I need to shut down the draft. It's, I don't think it's quite ready for that. Um, so I'm going to have breakfast and I'm going to do a channel update and I've got some phone calls to do. Uh, I've got to get the van insured. It runs out at the end of the week. And I've got to phone the hospital as well. Uh, oh, jeez. And I want to go outside, but the weather's a bit iffy today. Stuff to do outside. Oh, yeah, that's really going now, isn't it? So what will happen is in another like 20 minutes I'll get some more of the uh, this stuff here. That. <coughs> this one. This one's going on. that they're going on in a minute and then that'll be I'll just leave it I want it to do into it probably till the afternoon but it seems to be burning quite fast a lot of it I think that's something to do with the uh, you know the modern regulations because this is a new fire uh, so it's not allowed to smolder you know, it's got to clean burn. I think the analogy with cars is is important. How they burn the fuel in the engine. So this has got to burn clean. And I suppose what the government doesn't like is one uh, people with wood burners and fires can save money by getting free either free coke if they were miners or wood, you know, from forests and trees which is blown down and stuff. So it's all good for the people and it's good for uh it's just the community, society, but it's not good for globalists to come in money out of it. So we've got a situation where the government is, or some of the councils are telling us not to get log burners, but like say so Yorkshire Council ships in uh, wood from America, Canada in boats and diesel boats uh, to burn in their power station, Drax power station. So they can do it, but we're not allowed to do it. They don't want us to do it. And there's got to be something funny about that. And then they're going to turn around and say, oh, our, our power station has got its latest emission system. Well, so is my wood burner, you know. So really, we need to resist all this shit. I mean, it looks like I got bat chucked off a, uh, one of these community group pages on Facebook because what I'm trying to tell them is that the 20 miles power speed limits are illegal and they don't seem to like that. Uh, so we've got a, a dumpling class of people who seem to like the laws of our land being broken and contorted by uh, government officials. So they sort of deserve what they get, you know? Uh, but what can I do about it? I try to tell people. There's nobody ever refutes what I say about that, because they can't. Uh, because they can't disprove it either way because it, it's true what I'm saying. The Scottish government brought in these um, uh, um, implementations without proper uh, planning and the, the, the bike lane thing as well. There's a very strong Sustrans is a bike lobby. They're an activist group and they're getting to they're getting to dictate how our public money funding is being spent. And it's being spent on bike lanes. You know, and we all know what's gonna happen with bike lanes, because we've been doing bike lanes for years. There's a bike lane down the A905, uh, skin flats. They don't use it. The reason they don't use it, I think, is because it's got stuff that damages their tyres. 
And the reason is that the council don't clean it. So we really need to look in the past to see how much of a folly this whole thing is. Um, we try to, basically it's going to destroy our towns and cities, which it is already. Um, you know, I don't know what the answers are, but I think the well, the answer is stop voting. It's my, my solution. It's a start. If everybody stopped voting, there'd be a problem. Uh, and then we could uh, overthrow the government. We need to get rid of the Davos lot. Anybody that goes to Davos, we need to get rid of them. You should be fighting for Britain, not for Davos. If you go to Davos, that means you want to do over the people. Right, I think we can shut it. Turn off that bit of wood's a bit close. I think it maybe is. So is it going? Enough for you. Is it going? I think it is. I need to get the wipes in to clean that glass. Oh, that thing's no end, right? The, you know, the tray thing. I had it out cleaning it earlier. Uh, right, so, can we turn it down now? I think it's safe to leave it, isn't it? I think it's... So turn that, the air, that's it right off. Keep a bit of air going in. And I mean, if you took, if you left it like that, right up like that, it would burn quicker. So we turn it down a bit. So you have a lovely fire. That's seventeen minutes, thirty-four seconds. Um, so it's not really a channel update, I'll do a channel update in a minute. It's just a log burner demonstration. It's probably, people might come in the comments and tell me I'm doing it wrong, yeah. Um, so that's what's happening. Get some of these put in. And uh, once some of that burns down a bit. Right, so how does that look? Right, so we need to, um, I've got stuff to do today. Don't know how much I'm going to get done outside, but I have been planning on going up and looking at a memorial, which uh, for uh, the, the man who invented it, who started up the SAS. David Sterling, which is up near Dune. And I also want to do a care roundabout, but I don't know if I'm going to manage that today. So this was this is a bit of a channel update, where you're getting to watch a fire as well. I mean, some people like watching fires, and I'm just thinking that people might like, want to watch it. I quite like watching it, actually. I'm sitting watching it right now. Maybe if you did a, a video of a fire, right, from, you know, for hours, maybe would people watch, watch it and just sit mesmerised, I don't know. You can see it's well and truly going now. I um, don't know if it's time to put one of these sticks on. It might be. 
On the other hand, That'd be pretty cool if you had a big telly, wouldn't it? And you had a like a lot that a log burning video just playing on the big telly in the background. I think that'd make the house look pretty cool, yeah. I don't really like well. Huh? Should put a telly up in that wall there. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Actually, I'd give a bit more space in the house. Um, that's how we get ideas, isn't it, but generally. Um, I've got a painting up there now. So maybe I could put a telly there and then put my dad over there. Just in case you haven't really seen it, let's have another look. Right, I think that's enough. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we're, that's 22 minutes, 20, coming up for 23 minutes. Um, what actually happens when you do this is it just starts to heat up the phone. I don't think it's particularly good for the phone. Um, the other one shuts down. If it gets anywhere near any heat, it actually shuts down if you put it in the windscreen of the car. Uh, you know, with the heater on full blast. Or somewhere it will shut down. Um, I'm not sure if this one does it. I think it does. So, maybe I have to use the zoom function. Oh, and the phone nearly fell over. So relaxing. Right, time for me to go and get my breakfast. Um, I'll just give you another. Ooh, it's at twenty-four minutes. I should really, I should shut this down at twenty-five. And I'm going to go and get my breakfast. Sounds like it's probably burnt. So that's a 25 minute log burning. Now I'm sitting here bloody roasting. <laughs> but the point I have it on every day is to stop the... Cut down my gas bill. So, um, you know, obviously the house is not cold, at all cold. Um, but that's what it's for. And it's nicer. It's much nicer. It makes the house feel like a home. Um, right, so thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. End video now!